In this video, I'll quickly show you how to subtract dates from each other in SQL Server. To subtract dates, all we have to do is to use the date diff function. Date diff uses three arguments. The first one is a date part. So here we put year. The second one is the first date. And the third one is the second date. Normally you have to put the more recent date as the third argument. And here I've noted that this just gives the rough age in years. If you want to calculate somebody's birthday, then don't just use this. So if you want to calculate somebody's age, it's actually quite difficult. So I'll put a link to this article in the description below. It gives a few different ways of calculating somebody's age. So we can specify different date parts when we're using date diff. This will give somebody's approximate age in days. And this will give them their age in hours. You can get the results back in a lot of different formats. And I'll link this to the description below. So it goes from year, quarter, month, and week, hour, minute, seconds, all the way down to nanoseconds. Just remember that date diff and date parts do have limitations. For example, you can't calculate somebody's age in nanoseconds. This results in an overflow because there are simply too many nanoseconds in this time span. It's also quite straightforward to subtract variable date time values from each other. For example, this script here calculates how long there is until the end of this year. And it returns it as seconds, minutes and hours. So as you can see, date diff is very flexible and really useful if we need to subtract dates from each other. Hope you found the video useful. Thanks for watching.